everybody welcome back I'm gonna do a, what I think is a fun video and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to stand here the whole time we'll see how it goes I may end up grabbing my chair to sit down but I was going through since there's nothing else to do really at night other than my husband's found a series to watch but so I'm with him so I surf YouTube and I found several videos that caught my eye on what's in my hospital bag or what's in my baby hospital bag I'm like hmm why don't I I'm not expecting so why don't I do reborn edition hospital bag so this is what I got together I've got a bag for me and a bag for a boy or a girl this is a different diaper bag than what you guys know that I have I have a backpack one this is a regular bag. So I thought it would be fun to do the reborn edition, what's in my hospital bag. Um, and Emma, uh, and not Emma, Bella is right here with me, right there. So I thought that would be fun, guys. And I put this little teddy bear here, so cute. So I thought that would be fun. And so I'll do... my bag first the only thing that is not in here that i would have put in here like because this is a reborn edition so i'm not gonna have like i'm not staying at the hospital forever and you know uh, feminine things and stuff like that I'm, i don't need that stuff so but if you were going to buy a reborn and you had to travel somewhere to pick it up and then you had to stay in a motel room or whatever until you could pick up the baby or just like you know we all do we buy a baby online and it comes in the mail so we are waiting excuse me and um, I thought that this would be the what's in my hospital bag so either it's the reborn edition so either you're waiting for it to arrive either way you're waiting for the baby to arrive the reborn baby to arrive so for the mom you know me I want to be comfortable and there's certain things that I would want for me for waiting for the day or whatever and all that so let's do excuse me this way first so I'll do what's in my bag first and this is a new bag I got this off of Poshmark I'm gonna probably end up using this for the girls for a diaper bag and then the backpack I'll use for the boys. But if I'm taking a boy and a girl on a walk or whatever, I'll probably use the backpack or whatever. But anyway, so I packed a few things in here. So say you had to go to the hospital, uh, hospital room, motel room for the day to wait for your baby. This is just some things that I would put in here. I was gonna put in here, I'll tell you what I was gonna put in here, but I have not, is a robe and a pair of, you know, stretchy pants and nice t-shirt. I was gonna put in here, but I didn't put clothes in here. So, you'll need a water bottle. So I've got a water bottle in here. And if you're lounging around, you don't wanna wear shoes or whatever, and you get your baby, so I put a pair of slippers in here. And there's a pair of brand new slippers in here. And then this bag came with a little bag and another little bag. So I put those right here. I'll show you what's in those. And then um, I put in a cute pair of socks and it says mom's life. So you can wear the socks or the slippers, you know while you're waiting for your little one to come. Excuse me, my heck. And if it's morning time or whatever, say you spend the night somewhere or you're just waiting for your baby to get here and you wanna spruce yourself up or whatever, I put in here um, some perfume, little perfume. I put in here some hair ties so you can put your hair up and i would put shampoo in here shampoo and conditioner so you don't have to bring 
a big bag. So a shampoo and conditioner. And a brush, comb, brush and comb. And if you didn't want to wash your hair, then there's some um, dry shampoo. And if you, when you do your hair, like you can put your curling iron in here. And then there's some um, hairspray. Yeah. Hairspray in there. So that's it for the little mama bag. I thought it would be cute to, in, to put, um, to include a mama bag in this. And like I said, I would have put um, like a robe and some sweatshirt, not a sweatshirt, but a nice t-shirt or a pair of leggings in here for that. So let me show you what's in here now. Now this, because I'm using it for this right now, afterwards I would put the girls' binkies in here, pacifiers in here. It is hooked to the bag. Um, you can unhook it right here. But in here I put um, like little necessities, some makeup wipes. There's some lip balm. Your lips get dry, you know. And let's see. Let me get this out. I put another little bag in here. So it's from Ipsy. I have a bunch of these bags. But I put in here some chapstick and this is brand new i have not opened this stuff any of this stuff is brand new some eyeliner and it has a pencil sharpener with it so you don't have to carry that some cute little eyeshadows either the light colors or the darker colors and like that so you can refresh your makeup before you go get the baby and then some eyelash mascara so there's some makeup stuff in here, and all this stuff is brand new. I have not used any of this stuff. All of this is brand new. So there's the bag. And in this bag is like your shower stuff, you know whatever. So you can just take this whole bag and take it with you to the shower or to the bathroom, whatever. There's a toothbrush and toothpaste. Here is a underarm deodorant. Here is some soap, liquid soap, and some moisturizing cream for your face. I guess you could use it for everything, but your face. And here's some cleanser for your face after you get your makeup off. And here is some moisturizer, wet skin moisturizer. You put this on after you get out of the shower before you dry off. Yep. So, some moisturizer. So, like I said, all this stuff is brand new. And everything. There's that. So there's the, the mom bag. So if you were getting ready for your reborn, you know, you might want to get something else together for the day that the baby comes, you know, or whatever. But I just thought this would be cute for, you know, a hospital bag, hus you know, room bag, whatever. I'm back. Sorry, classroom problems. We're having that a lot lately in the last couple of days. Okay, so now the baby bag. And I just thought this would be so fun, you know, and it's pretty similar to what's in my diaper bag, but this would be for brand new. You don't have any reborns whatsoever and you want to have a diaper bag. You want to have things for your, your reborn if you're going out or whatever. So this is pretty much st a starter version. So and some of it will go for real babies too. And because I, I had all this stuff in Ariel's back in her bag when she was a baby. And you've seen her bag. It's the ABC one that I used for her and it's bigger than this. I had it 
full. And okay, so this bag has two big pockets right here, two side pockets, a pocket here, another teeny pocket right here that you could put your phone in or whatever right here. Um, and it has the back pocket. That's where the changing pad is. Okay. So, before we get on the inside, let's do the outside because that's the easiest. This one I would put like little, little snacks for you and whatnot. Well, this diaper bag doesn't have a pacifier holder, you know, a little passy. You could put a passy in here too, but it goes way down. But I would probably try to find one and hook it on here somehow. But for now, I've got them in here. And I believe most of the stuff that is in here, except for the clothes and stuff, is brand new. So here's a couple of pacifiers, because I've set this up for boy, girl. So I have a, l a little of each in here. And so this would be like what I want the baby to wear in the hospital room. So um, I guess rule of thumb from what I've watched so far, it wasn't like this when I was having babies, but at least three outfits because you want to take pictures while you're in the hospital. So you could do more than that. But I think I put three outfits each in here. But there's a pacifier for boy, pacifier for girl, and it is the Advent kind. And then there's one hospital pacifier right here. So let's move this stuff over here. I have one bottle here, and this is a new um, ma'am bottle. So there's that one, and it still has this stuff in it. So this is this is new. And on the other side, and I know in the hospital you get some of these. So if you're not breastfeeding like a real baby, and you're not going to breastfeed a reborn, but you can pretend with. I have a, one of my um, registry things, like for similar, this one's Infamil, Infamil. I got a case of these. And Ariel usually uses them when she role plays. So we use them up, but I keep, I tell her to keep these bottles because we can reuse these bottles. So there is one of these in there with the, with the nipple that goes with it. I put in here, okay. We have the soaps. Well, this one's lotion. This one is um, wash, baby wash. And this one is, uh, though this one's baby wash, this one's shampoo, and this one's lotion. And you can get these at Dollar Tree or whatever, but they're trial size, you know, the little ones. So cut those in here. And then every diaper bag, every diaper bag, and even like for now, and I've showed mine several times now in my backpack that I have, cause I'll pack, I'll use that backpack to this day for Ariel sometimes. I will pack some snacks or whatever, but it has my first aid kit in there. And this is a first aid kit. This one is different from the one that I have. The one that I had had similar to this when I first got it for when Ariel was a baby, but I've changed it through the years. Now it has Neosporin, hand sanitizer, Band-Aids, Q-tips. It has different stuff for now. <laughs> it's still I still have the um, little clippers, and mine has some little nail files. But this one has the medicine dropper. It has a, a thermometer in it. This one has the nose thing, and it has another medicine dropper. And then you can fill out the emergency card. But this is one for newborn. And you can add things to it too, you know. Like I don't know if I'd have both spoons. I would probably add like what I have. I would take out, this one would be for like a toddler. This one's for the newborn. So I'd use this one for now. Keep this, put it in a drawer, keep it. But then I would replace it like with some... Emery, little emery boards or whatever. I'd still would put some little band-aids behind here in this little pouch. The same thing and some neosporin because 
hey, you never know, you get hurt. I've been out with her to the park and I've gotten cut. And so this is awesome. So there's that. And then the changing pad is in the back and there's no other things. So let's get in the in front here. Okay. Now, if I was actually, you want to actually, I didn't put them out here. I should have done that. You're going to need a car seat. <laughs> and my car seats have the babies in them. I have a boy one and a girl one. And let's, uh, let's, for image sake, just so it looks good, I'll be right back. I brought him out. <laughs> Since when I'm doing this like a boy, a girl, boy, a girl. So, and it's to do with the hospital or your motel room or what have you. Boy one, girl one. And I would get, for the reborn, or even for a real baby, I would get a cover, a um, canopy for the car seat. I would get one of those. You can use a blanket or whatever, but these really aren't that expensive. And, um, you know, your, your head thing for the baby. And an outside blanket, you know, a bigger blanket to go outside. And I still have the twins in here, so they're in the video. And poor um, Bella is in the back there. And, uh, there. Okay. So, you would need your car seat. Very important. I almost forgot about that. That's awful. Okay. So, now, let's get back to the bag. So, you have your car seat. You have your cover. You have your blanket. And you're all set for the car seat. You have your mom bag. And now, we're to the baby bag. Okay. Like I said, there's boy, girl. I am going to put... Emmy down here on the floor. I'm going to move him over because I need room right here. But I'll move it so you can see him. Little teddy bear tipped over. Okay, put the teddy over there. All right, so now I'm going to make a pile for a girl, pile for a boy. Okay, so you need a swaddle of some kind. This is just a muslin blanket. So, girl. Boy. This one has zebras all over it. It's so cute. And you can do, I try to do themed things. I always have. I've always tried to do themed things. So if I'm having a girl, everything is going to be pink, white, maybe yellow, maybe the green, maybe, you know, definitely white, pink and white. Uh, absolutely. But I try to do themed things. And so that's what I've done with this. Went through all my stuff to see what I had. Okay, so girls, like I said, it would be three different outfits. Okay, so I will show you those. So more than likely the baby is gonna have a little t-shirt on. And this is what I've picked. And I should lay this out so you could see it better. It looks better laid out. Okay. Here's a little t-shirt. Okay. And depending on what you want to do, I just put this little hat. This is a little cloud hat. It looks like sheep, but it's not. It's a little cloud hat. And it's pink and white. So there's your little thing. And then you've got little booties. You can dress them up or dress them down, little lace or not, or whatever. So you picture a little baby in that. So, so, so cute for this little, this little thing. And then swaddle it up. Be so cute. Okay. Then the next outfit I have, I kind of went with a theme here, is lambs. So cute. And these are all newborn size clothes that I put in here. But you could be getting a bigger baby or have a bigger baby. Then you, you know, you don't know. So if it were, if I was doing a real baby, I would put newborn a, a newborn outfit and zero to three months. So that's what I would do. 
So there's the, the first two. And then on your blanket, and there's the little socks. Here's the next one, the little sleeper. And then the third one is a gown. So I would do a gown, a t-shirt of some kind, and then a sleeper. So those would be the three things that I would do. And this is a little lamb too. This little cute. And you've probably seen some of my babies in that. Now I didn't put any middies in here because this has a midi cover. The t-shirt has a midi cover. And so does the outfit has a midi cover. So I don't have little mitts. You can add mitts to that. Okay, now for a Mr. Mister. Let me get everything out of here. Okay, same with him. I put on here, this is, that one's sheep, right? Little sheep. And this one is elephant. So there's an elephant little pacifier. Thing. These are so cute. I want to buy, that's one thing I want to get from my nursery is I want to get a bunch of these different ones. But there's an elephant, and this has an elephant binky on it. Okay, so there's that. I don't have a girl one. And I just put, I tried to find another pink one of these. I have one, and I tried to find more. But, you know, for the binky, it would have this. So, okay, so the first outfit, let me put this down for you move the girls out of the way here's it says wild about mommy let me put it up so you can see what it is this is animal themed okay kind of like zoo because zebra and it's gray i wanted to do i wanted to do gray and white for the boy but and this is the little pants so there's little pants and there's a hat knotted hat for the boy so cute okay so there's the first outfit and this would probably be a going home outfit this one right here and for the girl the going home outfit might be either this or the the uh, probably this because I would have a headband with that which I'm surprised I didn't put in here. I would have put it in there. Because I did buy some. So, this white one, this white one right here, or this white one right here, or this little pink one. That's what I would have put with that outfit. Okay, so here's the next outfit. Like, you know, when you first put them in, you cuddle them up like their announcement, get one of those boards that have the, what is it called? Not a pegboard, but a letter board with the announcement and everything. And I have one. I have one. It still says Christmas stuff on it. But here's a, a t-shirt. I preferably for newborns, like when I do my doll, I like the double snaps over here but I don't have I've been trying to find one I have a newborn and I have preemie but zero to three months I don't think I have one but I couldn't find my then my newborn one I put for her so but this is a girl there's a little blue hat and it says best buddies so you put the little hat and then these are the socks that I had in here is and they're teeny they're teeny and this one says star has a star so then it would have the little socks so and that one would be wrapped I don't have a blue swaddle I would have used a blue swaddle but I have the, the zebra one and it doesn't really go with it so I probably would have used whatever the hospital blanket is for this for this one or if, you know if I was prepared which in this instance half my stuff didn't come and I didn't want to wait to do this video 
So I would have had a blue blanket, like the zebra one for this one. And for this kind of um, outfit, I would have either used, same with hers, I would have used probably the hospital blanket. Okay, so that's two. He actually has four. And this is zero to three. This is a gown, another gown that can be for a boy or girl. So I'm all for the gowns because they're easier to change them and everything. And then the last, the little sleeper I have is just a gray stripe with blue gem, but they have middies too. So just like that one, I don't have middies because all the outfits have middies on them. And I probably would have grabbed a pink one and one for the boy, just because babies do scratch their faces a lot. And I don't know if hospitals provide that. I think they just put them in those t-shirts, whatever. So I would, one thing that I would have added is middies for their hands. Okay, so next is some diapers. Here's some newborn diapers. And I put four in here, two for each side. I put a brush and comb set. Can you see? This is for the girl. This one's for the boy. And I would have put, um, there's a little, some little wipes in here, but I got a big thing of wipes inside. Big thing of wipes. Because you will use a lot of those with a, a newborn baby or whatever. And so here's some little wipes, and then I put some baby powder in here because we got lotion and all that on the other one. And also some diaper rash. And you don't want to put this on your ba your reborn dolls, but you can pretend, you know. But there's some, some desitin in there for diaper rash. So. And that's in there. And I think that's it. The bottles, lotions, first aid, brush. The only thing I didn't put in here was middies and um, was the middies. You'd use the hospital blanket for the birth announcement. Um, if you are going to a motel or picking up your baby, you would get, and I'll show you what mine looks like. little and it's black I should have got a, like a white one see it says Mary and bright <laughs> actually it's misspelled so I have all the letters in containers like this so I think I have one I don't know maybe there's six of these and you can put them in a little drawstring bag cute little drawstring bag or something and um, Bring this with you and put their birth date and their name or whatever right on here and you would bring it with you and make it all up so these weren't expensive i got mine at dollar family dollar and you can hang it up i don't hang mine up i have a little um oh let me show you i don't know what it's called have one of these and because it sits on my desk because when I'm well, I haven't done anything since Christmas but like if I was going to do a video with a birth announcement I would put this down and then put this on here so it would hold it up so you can get one of those and I got both of these at my family dollar and I think this was only a buck or two bucks or something like that. And I think you can get these at um, Dollar Tree. And then this little thing I think was like, it was it was under five bucks. It was either five bucks or lower. And it came with 
all the letters. And then you could get this at Dollar Tree. And um, bring that with you. You could put it in your mom bag or whatever. So there you go, guys. I'm sorry it says Marion right there. But um, yeah, you get one of these little ones. And that's about it. So I hope you liked my little hospital bag, mom bag thing, <laughs> little outfit thing. So I appreciate y'all watching. Um, like and subscribe and share. And I will be um, doing another video soon. So I will talk to you all later. Bye now.